Hello, I am Mr. Satish Tharange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we will see regarding the probability completion time of the project. At the end of the session, the learner will be able to determine the probability completion time of the project, which is very helpful to make a decision regarding the project completion or you can say probability completion time of the particular project. Yeah. See what are the normal distribution curve. See it is a probability distribution curve which is in symmetric at its apex and which is called when it is symmetric at that time it is called as a normal distribution curve. And here the mean of the normal distribution curve is generated by the mu. And in this a normal distribution curve in which we are observing that the particular it is divided into two symmetric parts on the left hand side and the right hand side. This is a discontinuous line which is highlighting that is a, a mean of the particular curve. When we observe on the left hand side and as well as on the right hand side, the 50% area is covered on the both the side. Here the particular range that is from the mu minus 3 sigma to up till the mu plus 3 sigma is a range from which covers almost 99.70% of overall area which is coming under the normal distribution curve and the second is the range from the mu minus 2 sigma till mu plus 2 sigma which is the area or you can say the portion of the curve which covers 95 percent of the overall and the next is mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma which covers 68 percent area of overall curve here this range are very most important which is helpful for define the particular probability of the particular curve or you can say the project here there are some of the formulas for the normal distribution curve the first one is the expected time that is t is equal to to plus 4tm plus tp by 6 and the standard deviation is denoted by sigma that is sigma is equal to tp minus to by 6 that is tp is a prismatic time and that is a to is a optimistic time and the variation is a square of the standard deviation which is denoted by the sigma square here 6 is nothing else that is a particular area or you can say the range that is minus from the my mu minus 3 sigma plus mu plus 3 sigma that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay that is range from minus 3 sigma to plus 3 sigma that's why it is taken as a divided by 6 and the 4 is a coefficient of most likely time because mostly all our activities present in the project complete at the most likely time so the weightage is more given to the most likely time and the one is a coefficient of optimistic time as well as prismatic time okay this is overall vertical concept behind the expected time standard deviations and the variations in the particular probability distribution curves or that is a normal distribution curve here yeah, the beta distribution curve the beta distribution curve is nothing else skewed distribution curve as we have seen the normal distribution curve the particular curve was symmetric at the, its apex or at the mu or the, at the center but here we observe that the curves are skewed at the left hand side as well as right hand side that is nothing else that is a beta distribution curve now let's see the probability completion time of the project so it is necessary to know the probability co completion time of the project within the scheduled completion time that is ts which is represented by or denoted by ts for the decision making yeah with the help of this we are going to define the normal deviation as well as the particular probability completion of the particular project now steps to for to be followed for finding the probability of the particular project Probability completion time of project you can say 
as the project is defined, you should go for the construction of the network diagram and determine the critical path which is available with the particular project. Next step, let us to know what to be determined, whether we have to determine the schedule completion time or the probability completion time or the probability of the particular project means a clear cut we have to know what we have to find or what is expected to be to find out now step three with the help of that with the help of overall data of the activities their duration the formula for the variance is sigma square is equal to tp by tp minus to by six bracket raised to square here next step after getting the variance we are going to find out the standard deviation for the particular project with the help of the critical path here the sigma is equal to square root of sum of the variance along the critical path here the standard deviation we have to find out for the project with the help of the critical path only if there are more than two critical path the longest critical path we have to consider for the finding the variance or you can say the standard deviation of the overall project now finally knowing the ts and the t that is the scheduled completion time and the expected completion time of the particular project we can find out the normal deviate that is z and the formula for z is equal to ts minus t by particular standard deviation finally when we got get the normal deviation with the help of normal deviation we are going to find out the probability completion time of the particular project in the percentage so we have to refer these tables that is a standard normal distributions function table in which the particular z values that is a normal deviation as well as the probability completion of the particular project in the percentage is been mentioned plus 3 to minus 3 here in this table when we observe that they are given the particular guideline that if the z value is equal to 0 then the chance of completing the project are 50 50 percent and if the project is in positive that you then the chance are more than 50 percent if the z value is negative then the chance are less than 50 percent means what there is very less chance less than 50 percent chance to complete the particular project as per the schedule now let's see the slide select the correct answer for the following questions Hope so, you have selected the marked one or highlighted one. These are the references for the today's session. Thank you.